In a world where virtual and physical realities converge, revolutionary digital twin technology is reshaping the future of engineering at Louisiana State University. For the first time, the engineering students are getting a taste of being an artist. They're creating an object that can inspire people. And I think that's a really interesting direction for our engineers, and it just lights them up. In February, students get a chance to check out this technology at LSU's first Digital Twin Symposium. The symposium, which is sponsored by Bentley Systems, brings together industry leaders, experts, and students. It exposes participants to the new and revolutionary tools and applications now available. Bentley's Dustin Parkman believes today's students are uniquely positioned to advance the field. The kids, they are the future of this. They are the ones that are gonna be the next leaders of, of our industry. And so, because they're digital native, many of these tools and technologies, they're not gonna be a, a learning curve for them. They're not gonna be in their DNA. It's how they've grown up. Joey Coco, co-founder of Digitwin and organizer of the symposium, agrees. He sees these events as crucial for the future of engineering education. There's a major shortage for engineers right now, especially those that are interested in digital twins. We have to build that forward. But what exactly is a digital twin? Put simply, a digital twin uses engineering, geospatial performance, physics, and other data to build a virtual model of a real thing. The future of digital twins is gonna be what you can do with the data. So from machine learning to AI, all the potential that's gonna come out of that, once you have all the data compiled into one space, it's just gonna be unbelievable. So it's gonna make the twin informative, intelligent. We are just outside the LSU campus at the Center for River Studies. They have a giant model of the Lower Mississippi representing the last 179 miles of the river. They use it to simulate sediment flows as close to reality as possible. Then they use the data and combine it with information from the actual Mississippi to create a whole model of the river. Hayden Franklin, who studies coastal engineering, is using this innovative model to solve critical challenges facing Louisiana's waterways. We've been working to see if we can compare data from vessel track lines to see if this is stuff that riverboat pilots see in the real river. Giving students the opportunity to solve problems with digital twins is crucial for today's engineering students. I think digital twins are a must have. And I think the reason is that in the last 20 years in engineering, we've gone from being a data poor discipline to being a system that we have so many sensors and so much data. A digital twin is a, is a way of taking that information and making it usable to people. For Ashley Elliott, a graduate student in digital media art and engineering, it's much more than that. I initially got interested in digital twins because um, I heard about our NASA project. So knowing that it could be applied at a practical level um, was really interesting to me. That NASA project was ambitious. LSU students created a digital twin of the enormous 2 million square foot rocket factory in Michoud, just outside New Orleans, where NASA is building its Artemis Mars rocket. I found that the data is what's really important to me, so knowing how we can improve um, situations using this digital twin, that is a goal, is pursuing a, a job in this field, yes. What makes LSU students' approach so unique is how it brings together students from multiple disciplines. What we want is a cross-sectional approach to solving complicated problems. Students from art, students from engineering, students from science, students from business. We have an opportunity here to build teams, and teams solve problems. Teams bring answers. Teams create the picture of the digital twin. By breaking down traditional academic silos, LSU students are learning that cross-disciplinary collaboration can be a catalyst for breakthrough innovation. Tomasz Kellner, Bentley Systems.